No training tool I can think of facilitates big leaps and hops with such minimal joint impact on landing as stairs. If you skate or ski, stair drills can propel you past peak shape in the off-season. The off-season can be a good thing. This stair stuff is quite explosive, warm up until you're sweaty and you're far less likely to damage muscle or connective tissue. Do all of these warm-ups for about 15-16 reps twice and you'll be ready to drill it and kill it. Deadlift. Feet are shoulder width here and your back is concave, allow a slight bend of the legs. You want to feel this in your hands and glutes. Squat. Same rules here. Chest up throughout. Concave back. Get your hip crease as low as your knee or slightly lower. No need for ass to grass or booty to heel. Wall push. In the wall push your hands are at the lower chest and two inches, maybe four inches outside of your shoulders. Be sure to turn your head equally from side to side. Don't skim your nose on the wall, you look stupid for a week. Yeah, it's just working out in the stairwell. Push up burpees is a push up and then a knee tuck to land two steps up. Extend your hands two steps up and then repeat. I wish I had longer flights here for this. It's a fun one, but it's not the main event, so whatevs. Calf jumps. Let's wake these little monsters up with small hops that we let grow into something with a little hang time. Allow your legs to bend slightly at the knee, but take most of your power from the baby cows. Let them move. The one-legged dead. Your supporting leg is slightly bent, and again, your chest stays up with the back of concavity. If you experience difficulty balancing, you can hold on to something. Try not to. This one requires complete attention and is fun, like a challenge of its own. All right, here's the big moves. Booyah. Boo both of you. Speed feet. In this one, go for the maximum repetitions you are capable of in 15 seconds. It's a beastly thing, but put everything you have into it. Start on different sides and separate sets. Keep it crouchy. The less up and down head movement you carry on this one, the higher number of steps you're likely to complete. With the hops, start with one step at a time using short arm movements to match the short leg flexion. Notice I hop on the upswing and the backswing. On the double steps, the arm swing increases and you're still hopping on each end of the swing. When the jumps get big, your deep landings will give you time to go for the full forward arm swing for maximal upward and forward momentum. One-legged hops. Simple one-step hops are a challenge to keep smooth. Iron this out one step at a time. When you nail that, try the double step. You'll find on the two-step, the double-sided arm swing thrust is a super helpful and harmonious movement pattern. Leaps. Let's give the hams a little more love. For maximum lift, spring off the first or second step up before your big leap. Once you have the two-step nailed, give three or four or five a try. Aim to land from well above the target step. Don't aim to just make it. Acorn stair lift. Pretend your head is on a rail which must travel painfully slow up each flight of stairs. Stay low with a convex spine and constantly bent legs. Keep it creepy on the corners too. Crossovers. You need to keep the same profile as the acorn stair lift here. Pump the arms in a runner's fashion, and do not allow your arms to swing past your midline. Skip a step on the crossovers and reach to hit the adductors and abductors harder. They like it. Skaters are another one of those hunchy posture, active core type thingies. The arms move a little more side to side here, but still don't cross the midline. Palms up at the end of each arm swing and you'll be the most super authentically skatey type person in the stairwell. Long steps are another ass blaster. This one is meant to be slow, but it will however help to have a little forward momentum when attempting your max step height. I think three steps at a time are highly effective for most people. Four is a stretch for me. Freestyle is the steps you put together for the quickest rip to the top that's possible. For me, it's all about the two-step with the very odd three and regular fill-in-the-gap one-steps at the end or start of flights. 
on a longer flight, I think the three step would be a little more regular. Stair work and jumping is hardcore. Stretch and give your body a chance to recover to jump even higher in the future. Stretch, the future you is not a loser. Standing cat. Arch that back like a sassy cat. Hold for 10 seconds. Meow. Standing chest, your arm should be slightly bent and your hand is at lower chest height. Outstretched. Standing quad. Do this one upright and leaning forward. Balancing on your own is fun, but if you really hit the stairs hard, you should need help by now. Stop showing off. Ham to step, you put your foot three or four steps up and get your chest close to that knee for 10 seconds. I didn't really demonstrate it here. I didn't straighten my leg and I didn't feel like great filming it. Glute to step, put your leg three steps up, pass that leg with your torso, get low to the step. The ham to roll up is essential. With straight legs, hang to where you stop naturally, then go three inches deeper. Feel that sweet, sweet burn for about 10 or more seconds. Then stand tall for a 20 second rest and repeat. It's very important to remember to breathe normally throughout or you may engage in spontaneous groundwork if you stand up too quickly after holding your breath. This is not a complete program, but a kick-ass supplemental workout for boosting power in the legs and improving control of the body.